Chapter 1 Swimming and Water Survival Introduction History does not record when swimming first began. Everybody knew that it is a very old skill, probably as old as man himself. Some scholars believe that man learned how to swim as a result of his accidental immersion in deep water, or perhaps man first learned to swim for survival. Classification of swimming stroke, competitive stroke, and survival or resting stroke. We have four competitive swimming stroke. First is the freestyle. Of all swimming strokes, the crawl or freestyle is the most popular, the fastest, most efficient stroke, and easiest to learn. We have the technique in freestyle. The arm should be moved alternatively in a rotating windmill type of motion. In order to swim in straight line, each arm should be extended to full reach and pulled with equal force through the water. When under the water, the arm should be moved to form an S pattern. And this is my video showing freestyle stroke. Next is butterfly in which both arms are brought forward together over the water and then brought for backward simultaneously. The movement of the arm is continuous and is accompanied by an undulating movement of the hips. The leg kick, called the dolphin kick, is a hip-like downward motion of the unseparated feet. The technique in butterfly. The arm should be moved together, pulling through the water while the hands are kept capped. The palm should be faced outwards and pressed in a downward as well as outward movement. This is a video showing a butterfly stroke. Next is the breaststroke. It's the oldest known swimming stroke. It is one of the four strokes used in competitive swimming, but it is also very popular for leisure swimming. In this stroke, the arms and legs move symmetrically. A way of swimming in which the swimmer face in the water and the arms move in a large motion from front to back as the feet kick outward also. And this is the video example of breaststroke. Next is the backstroke. Backstroke or back roll is one of the four swimming styles used in competitive events and the only one of these styles swam on the back. This swimming style has the advantage of easy breathing but the disadvantage of swimmers not in being able to see where they are going. And this is the example of backstroke. Next is the survival or resting stroke. First is the side stroke. The side stroke is a swimming stroke so named because the swimmer lies on one side with a symmetric arm and leg motion and it is helpful as life-saving technique and it is often used for long distance swimming. Next is the Trojan stroke. The Trojan is a swimming stroke sometimes known as the racing stroke or the East Indian stroke. It is named after the English swimmer John Trojan and evolved out of side stroke. One swims mostly upon one side, making an overhand movement lifting the arms alternately out of the water. Next is the elementary backstroke. It's a swim stroke that expends minimal energy with simple arm and leg movements. This backstroke doesn't require any complicated breathing technique since the swimmer heads never goes underwater. What is diving? Combination of skills and tumbling and swimming in the form of aerial acrobatics. is the support of jumping or falling into water from a platform or a springboard sometimes while performing acrobatics. Fundamentals of diving. Kneeling dive. Setting up in half kneeling stance, one knee is placed on the ground with the glute contracted and the hip extended fully, while the other hip is flexed with the foot flat on the ground directly in front of the hip. Both your legs will be at 90 degrees. The spine is in neutral position with your ribs drawn down. Next is the compact dive. It is almost the same as kneeling dive, but tell the child to keep on learning until he or she is almost falling and then pushing off with leg and follow the fingerprints into the water, diving in gently. Stride dive. Tell the child to stand and place one foot at the very edge of the pool. The other foot should be placed about 2-3 to three feet away behind the other foot. Tell the child to point his arms for the sky with his step. The inner part of the child's arm should be against his or her ears. Push against their ears to keep their arms in the place. Next is the standing dive. Standing at the poolside edge with arms held above the head, hands together, the dive bends 
forwards and falls head first into the water. Divers should aim to dive at an angle so that they glide across the pool underwater rather than diving vertically towards the floor. Next, we have the position of dive. The first one is the pike position. Tack position, the straight position, the free position, fishing position, the boating position, the water skiing position, scuba diving position, and the snorkeling position. We also have the floating stroke. First is the survival floating, the back floating, threading water, the sculling, the turtle float, the jellyfish float. Chapter 2. Personal Water Safety What is personal water safety? Water safety refers to the procedure, precaution, and policies associated with safety in, on, and around bodies of water, where there is a risk of injury or drowning. It has application in several occupations, sports, and recreational activities. Next is the pool regulations. The pool rules examples are no glass allowed in pool area, no pushing, no pathing, no running, no diving, no sub-aqua equipment, no photography or filming, and no eating or drinking in the swimming pool area. Next is the swimming attire. This is the swimming attire which is not allowed in the pool area, and these are those allowed in the swimming pool area. Next is the safe and best time for swimming. Favorable weather, last two hours in the morning, the last two hours in the afternoon, after digestion has taken place for at least one to two hours, clear water and bottom transparent, with lifeguard and never swim alone. Next is the dangerous or accident in swimming, the cramps. Next is exhaustion. Third is after take a heavy meal. The fourth one is the underwater holes. The fifth one is the sea urchins. Next is the jellyfish, sharks, the irregular bottom, the panic, and last is the current. Next is safety and rescue equipment, lifeline. These are void lines that mark and separated swimming and diving limits. Next is booms. These are made of good lugs chained together and are often used to enclose an entire swimming area. The third one is the ring boy, a throwable device as a standard equipment used at the pools and beaches. Next is the shepherd's crook, a teaching device and known as the oldest piece of good rescue equipment. Fifth one is the having line. Any strong line properly coiled and thrown can be used to extend the rescue reach to 30 to 40 feet. And for the last chapter 3, Search and Rescue. What is Search and Rescue? Search and Rescue or SAR is the search for and provision of aid to people who are in distress or imminent danger. We have three major causes of drowning. First, failure to recognize hazardous condition or practices, inability to get out of dangerous situation, lack of knowledge of safety ways in which to aid person requiring assistance in the water. Next is the rescue technique. Assess the situation and remember your training. The second one is planning rescue quickly and calmly. We have four types of people or swimmers in need of rescue. The tired swimmer, panicked swimmer, non-swimmer, and unconscious victim.